Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market update dated the 23rd of October, 2023. Domestic benchmark indices logged the fifth straight losing session on October 25th amid worry of escalating tensions in the Middle East and rising US bond yield that may result in more fund outflows from India. News flow from the war front in Israel shows that conflict is escalating with every day passes. Now bombarding at the Syria front has also started apart from the Lebanon front. The 50-share NSE Nifty fell 159.60 points or 0.83% to 19,122.15. BSE flagship Sensex plunged 0.81% or 522.82 points to 64,049.06. Coal India, Tata Steel, and Hindalco were the top gainers, while Infosys, Adani Enterprises, and Sipla were top losers in NSE. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Tech Mahindra, Americas, announced on October 23rd that it will divest its 30% holding in Ovion Networks Incorporated for $50,000 to Kanshana Raman, the promoter of Ovion Networks Incorporation. The expected date of completion of the sale or disposal is on or before October 31, 2023. Tech Mahindra had formed a joint venture with global telecom technology firm Ovion Systems in 2015 to offer network, design and software engineering services for the deployment and management of mobile networks and the transformation of these networks to cloud-enabled, virtual and open system software-driven networks. Construction engineering company Gensol Engineering has bagged a contract worth 301.5 rupees crore from Maharashtra State Power Generation Company Limited. The latest contract is for the installation and commissioning of a solar power plant. The company is a part of the Gensol Group of companies which offers engineering, procurement, and construction services for the development of solar power plants. Gensol has also established an electric vehicle manufacturing facility in Pune to develop and produce electric three-wheelers and four-wheelers. Vedanta on Tuesday said Chief Financial Officer, CFO, Sonal Shravostov has resigned amid a major structural overhaul announced last month. Billionaire Anil Ugawal led Vedanta announced plans to carve the metals-to-oil conglomerate into six separate businesses last month, a move aimed at shoring up the group's financial performance. Shravostov had joined Vedanta in June, and was the third person to hold the position since 2021 after G.R. Arun Kumar and Ajay Goel. Goel had resigned from Vedanta in April to join Baiju's. One of the Adani Group's long-time auditors is being scrutinized by India's accounting regulator. The National Financial Reporting Authority, or NFRA, has in recent weeks started an inquiry into one of the member firms of EY in India, SR Batliboy, said the people, who asked not to be identified discussing confidential information. The regulator has requested files and communications related to its audits on some of the companies controlled by billionaire. Gautam Adani going as far back as 2014. Mac Power in daily time frame is trading around 511 points with a change of 15.92%, and is trading with a net volume of around 3.15 million shares. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 89.48, which indicates overbought region. PDS in daily time frame is trading around 590.95 points with a change of 9.22%, and is trading with a net volume of around 254,000 shares. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 66.61. Univastu India in daily time frame is trading around 124 points with a change of 19.41% and is trading with a net volume of around 839,000 shares. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 68.91. For stocks to watch, we have. Tata Steel looks good on current market price of 121. It can be bought at 123 rupees keeping target of 130 rupees with stop loss of 117. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.